Hey everyone, it's Adam with Fraser. We're at Texas EMS 2018. We're in the San Antonio Fire Department booth. And we're here talking to William Shannon Weeks about a new feature on their latest uh, batch of units. This is a ultraviolet light decontamination system. So William, if you would, give us a little bit of history and the background and the story of why you guys thought that a feature like this would be beneficial to you and just fill us in on, on some of the progress that's gone along the way and, and what other departments you feel like they would need to know in making a decision like this. So moving through the uh, Ebola scare uh, several years ago, uh, we looked through several uh, options to uh, decontaminate our units. We're using physical decontamination with, uh, with wiping down and, and uh, different types of liquids to decon our units. Uh, we looked at some of the aerosol uh, type uh, decon systems. Uh, our administration really looked at the uh, UV light as able to get in the different cracks and the crevices, as well as something that we can uh, reliably use through our units. We opted for the permanently mounted unit uh, so that it was always available for the ambulances. And uh, so it allows to get all, these, all the different surfaces in the unit. Uh, wiping down, you occasionally miss one. Aerosol takes a unit out of service for uh, an X amount of time depending on the system you use. So with the, uh, the light system, it is a UVC. Uh, you don't have to worry about medications being broken down. You don't have to worry about the uh, seats or the uh, equipment in back uh, being broken down. Uh, since it is strictly a UVC system, uh, that's the only uh, band of the, the UV light that comes through. And uh, one other misnomer is that it's only direct uh, light that will decon stuff. So what we do is uh, we park the unit in the station. It has to be plugged in. Uh, all the doors have to be closed. Although it will not hurt you, prolonged exposure uh, can break down some of your dead skin cells, uh, some minor skin cell uh, irritation. And so all the doors have to be closed. Uh, the system has a preset timer that you push a button and it, it uh, kicks it off. After that time expires, the system resets itself and you're good to go for the next call. One advantage over the aerosol is if you interrupt it, uh, when you get back to the station, you could just start it over again uh, and uh, it'll decon uh, through its process. We chose for the roof uh, kind of out of the way. Uh, the light will get all the, most of the surfaces uh, the surfaces under the stretcher uh, still have some reflective light uh, to kill the germs under there, as well as probably one of the dirtiest things we have is the stretcher. And so it will kill the germs on top of the stretcher, uh, as well as on the carriage and the handles and stuff. Still requires some physical decontamination for the gross, uh, the dirt, the, the particles, uh, but it will kill the germs uh, during that cycle of the decon. Uh, by the way, this is uh, EA Medical product, so they have a couple different product lines, and this is uh, a product that we, we purchased from them and then custom built into the ceiling of the unit. Uh, you can see it up here. I don't know if you're able to get that, Colin. And then there's a control panel located in an outside compartment we're going to show you here in a little bit. If you would, um, is there anything, is there any one thing that jumps out in your mind that you learned about this process or the product or about uh, the specking process that you feel like another department needs to know about as they're going through this? Is there one thing that just jumps out like, man, if I had to recommend one thing, this is what you need to know. Let's hear it. As far as the light, uh, the, uh, the refractory, bouncing off stuff, deconning, uh, as well as the ease of use really is, is where that came in for us is. It's on every ambulance, it's easy to use a push button once it's plugged in and it, it fires away. All right, I think next we're gonna actually do a, a demo of the system. So uh, we'll see you there. So once all the doors of the uh, patient compartment are closed, and the unit is plugged in, you'll come here to the control box. It has a delay timer to start and a run timer on there that will be preset uh, by your uh, organization. Once you uh, prepare to uh, administer the decontamination, you'll just push the black button here. And uh, depending on the delay, the light inside you'll see come on. 
So once you start the timer, uh, after the preset delay, you'll notice the light is on inside the ambulance. It is deconning anything that it can uh, hit with the light or bounce off to an extent uh, under the stretcher, uh, behind medications. Again, with it being UVC, you don't have to worry about degradation of medications or seat material or anything on the inside. The other feature is if you open the door, it will cancel the light on the inside. Uh, so if you make a run, it cancels it. You can remain in service while you're uh, doing this kind of decon and just come back to the station and start it over again.